Hi, I'm Noelle Huey, and we bought our dream house last year, but the one thing it didn't have that we wanted was really high ceilings. So I'm gonna show you how we took this space and we're gonna make it the high ceiling space of our dreams. Hey, it's construction day one. Woo! That means it is demo day. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, I love the smell of sawdust in the air. <laughs> Not from demo. Yeah, all this. I feel like the new sawdust smell is what I love though. The old sawdust uh, smell is a little like the Chinese word "sok sok day," which is like a little like mildewy. You know, maybe the it's older. The, maybe it's the asbestos I'm smelling. <laughs> But I love the smell when the saws come out and we're just tearing things apart. Yeah, I just like to tear things apart. We'll just leave it at that. It's like we're Christmas. Open all the presents, see what's inside. So we're working with a framer named David from Kingdom Building Group and here he is uh, demolishing our ceiling and we are just so excited to see what comes next. Day two, or day one and a half, actually. <laughs> yeah. Get a, a sense of the space. Wow. It feels so big. And that's before we even add skylights. So this is our big project. Oh my gosh, we just uncovered a ton of wires. Everything on one side of our house seems like it's running to the other side of our house, straight across the place where we're taking out the ceiling. This is the least fun part, dealing with the wires because you're up in the attic. It's hot, it's all the insulation that sticks to your lungs when you breathe it in. Oh, no bueno, no bueno. Electrical, rerouting all the lines are shot across. This for many. Everything. This is powdered insulation, aka the devil's snow cones. Oh, the mouse, cotton candy. Candy, candy. There's a sermon illustration. It may look fluffy and delicious. When you taste it, it'll sting and you will feel it for days. How about that? No, I was making the channels. Nice to see one of these go away. Thank God. So Joanna Gaines has a personal stylist to get her ready for YouTube. <laughs> and I think this is entirely unfair. Uh, I had the idea to just run tape along the rafters to show where we're gonna run the electrical lines. So I'm marking the light locations as we go too, so that we can have some sense of where to run the wires to and where to secure them. Oh man. So we're putting recessed lights in. We've never ourselves put recessed lights in. Yeah, and we're trying to reuse any holes that we drill for these things that have to run through the raft. We don't have to draw drill more. The next thing that we had really wanted David to do is add skylights to this room. So he's cutting in the skylight so that we can add additional light to our room. This room is south facing, so we're gonna get a lot of light through the ceiling, which will really enhance the space. Here it is. There's a hole. Awesome. Well, we have windows in the ceiling. Oh, I didn't notice. Wow. You finally got your skylights. Nice. Yay! Two skylights. Feels different, right? Yeah. So 
way different. It's really quiet because of the uh, insulation. Insulation, yeah. Echo. So hey, look at this. We are at the drywall stage. Thankfully, we've got awesome people. This is Miguel. He's drywalling it. On stilts. It is an art. It is, yeah. You're like Michelangelo up there with the Sistine Chapel, getting it all <laughs> smooth. I'm like a karate kid. Uh, wax on, uh, wax off. <laughs> so drywall is now complete. And now we can move on to the next stage. Okay, so we are in the process of putting in our recess lights. All we need to theoretically do is create a little hole with this handy tool here. Which we pre-marked where it's going to be. Our electrician friend gave us the tip to run this in reverse first. To score it, it can kick out of your hand otherwise. Over okay, here, I'm going to run it in reverse. Create a nice little track. Perfect. And voila, there's our wire. Just like we planned. Nice. We got two wires, one's gonna power it and one's gonna get daisy chained to the next light in line. Let's yeah. go. So these are the lights we're using for our recessed lights. They're six inch Lithonia lighting. I love how thin it is. No more cans. And these are adjustable in terms of tilting. I'm going to connect my power in, then the wires just get plugged right into these easy connectors and you're good to go. What are we doing, Noel? We're tired. <laughs> uh, painting true. and putting in the lights. Now doing the fireplace behind her. I'm not doing this. The mason. The mason. That's like one night werewolf. Mason. <laughs> Is that a different kind of mason? Luckily, we came across a mason, Stephen from True Stonework and Design, who was able to identify the existing Avondale Fieldstone, which is a local stone to our area. He was confident that he could match what we had and extend it. And we think that he just has done an amazing job. This was not a small task because that old stone had been there since the mid 80s. So that stone is uh, 40 years old. Recess light locations, the architect, Oh, stop it. The lighting design. Mocking. Uh, 26 and a quarter. She's not scared. Oh, even the tape measure is making marks. It's painful. We just painted the ceiling. It's all white. White as snow. Our skylight. Stop watching me. So after a few weeks, we are finally at the final stage to reveal our brand new ceiling. Here's a look at our new space. And it's really like it was always there. It's hard to imagine it back the way it was before. And that's what I consider a successful renovation or addition when you look and you say, huh, I just can't even imagine if that wasn't there. It just feels like the right decision. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. Let us know what you like, what you dislike, and if you have questions yourself, we'd love to answer them. If we can.